Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a senior consultant histopathologist and head of pathology department, AKMICHKSA. I am going to talk about sex cord stromal tumors of the ovary, certainly cell tumor, not otherwise specified. General background. Sertoli cell tumors not otherwise specified are ovarian tumors characterized by a proliferation of hollow or solid tubules composed of Sertoli cells simulating prepubertal or other testicular tubules in the absence of Leydig cells. They are rare, being much less common than adult and juvenile granulosa cell neoplasms. Hot spot mutations in DISA, one are frequent, approximately 60%. These tumors typically occur in reproductive age women, average 30 years, but may occur at any age. Clinical features include incidental finding because Sertoli cell tumors are usually non-functioning, abdominal pain, swelling, or menstrual abnormalities, estrogenic manifestations in approximately 30% in children most commonly isosexual pseudoprecocity occurs. Occasional androgenic manifestations and rarely progesterone production. Occasional association with Putz Jagger's syndrome and renin production. Gross appearance. Sertoli cell tumors are typically unilateral, averaging 9 cm in largest dimension with the most being between 4 and 12 cm. They are characteristically solid, lobulated masses with a yellow or less commonly brown tan or white cut surface. This tumor has a solid and focally cystic tan to brown cut surface. A predominantly cystic appearance is rare. Microscopic features. Sertoli cell tumor, not otherwise specified, is typically composed of tubules arranged either diffusely or in nodules. The tubules range from hollow to solid with obliterated lumens and round to elongated sometimes with a complex branching architecture. The tumor cells are cuboidal to slightly columnar cells and have moderate amounts of pale, clear, or eosinophilic cytoplasm. The nuclei are uniform, round to oval, and have punctate nucleoli. Cytologic atypia is minimal or absent, and mitotic activity is not increased. The tumor appears to be encapsulated. Sertoli cell tumors show many architectural patterns, often within the same tumor. In these images, the tumor cells form tubular structures, small solid nests, as well as anastomosis cords and trabeculae. There is moderate amount of hyalinized stroma around the tubules. These two images show hollow and solid tubules along with trabecular pattern that is mixed pattern and a background of hyalinized stroma. Some Sertoli cell tumors have prominent cytoplasmic vacuoles containing lipid, creating a microcystic or signature ring appearance. 
In this photo, high magnification shows heavily lividized Sertoli cells resembling adipocytes. Sertoli cell tumor, lipid rich variant, folliculum lipidic. The tumor consists of cells with abundant lipid rich cytoplasm. Folliculum lipidic can result in isosexual pseudobricosity in children. Sertoli cell tumor, oxyphilic variant. The cytoplasm is brightly xenophilic. These two variants are more frequent in putz jeggers syndrome-related Sertoli cell tumor. This image shows small round to elongated tubules, both hollow and solid, lined by cuboidal to slightly columnar cells with pale cytoplasm. This image shows Sertoli cells with diffuse sheet-like pattern with the focal areas of tubule formation. In these two photos, the Sertoli cell tumor is composed mostly of anastomosing cords and trabeculae and a few tubular structures. There is a small amount of intervening myxoid stroma. Sertoli cell with a macrocystic pattern. It shows a prominent cystic component, not the tubular structures within the septa between the cysts. Sertoli cell tumor with a retiform pattern. It consists of anastomosing slit-like to cystic spaces lined by cuboidal Sertoli cells resembling reed testes. Sclerosing Sertoli cell tumor. Some cases of Sertoli cell tumor have prominent hyaline fibrosis. The cellular component, which makes up less than 50% of the tumor, consists of compressed corks, trabeculae, small nests, and solid tubules in dense collagenous stroma. The sclerotic variant appears to have a slightly better prognosis than the other subtypes. Large cell calcifying Sertoli cell tumor. It is a unique variant of Sertoli cell tumor characterized by abundant xenophilic cytoplasm in the tumor cells and stromal calcification. Stromal calcifications in large cell calcifying Sertoli cell tumor are variable and range from scattered laminated somoma bodies, mulberry-like calcifications to more extensive block-like areas as seen here. It may be sporadic 60% of cases or occur as part of carny complex. The tumor cells have abundant xenophilic cytoplasm. The nuclei lack pileomorphism and are round to oval with punctate nucleoli. Mitotic activity is not increased. Nuclear pileomorphism is rare and is an adverse pathologic feature. Malignant cases are more likely to exhibit solid sheet like growth and frequent nuclear pileomorphism ranging from mild to prominent. It is important to remember that carny complex, it is an autosomal dominant syndrome characterized by lengthy genes of face, myxomas of heart, skin, soft tissue, and elsewhere, myxoid fibroadenomas of 
breast, blue nevi of skin, primary pigmented adrenocortical disease with Cushing syndrome, growth hormone producing pituitary adenomas, pigmented summomatous schwannomas. Please keep in mind that a diagnosis of large cell calcifying Sertoli cell tumor should prompt a work up to rule out the diagnosis of carny complex because of life-threatening complications of cardiac myxomas that may be present. Immunohistochemistry. Sertoli cell tumor shows strong diffuse positive cytoplasmic staining for inhibiting alpha, strong diffuse positive nuclear staining for SF1, steroidogenic factor 1, strong diffuse positive nuclear staining for beta catenin and cyclin D1. A strong diffuse positive cytoplasmic and nuclear staining for carotenin. Weak membranous positivity for CD99. Nuclear beta catenin and cyclin D1 positivity correlate with mutations in CTNNB1 gene. Prognosis and therapy. Sertoli cell tumors generally have a good prognosis, which is related to tumor stage and degree of differentiation. As most Sertoli cell tumors are clinically benign, they can be treated by salvinjo or ophrectomy. Patients with adverse outcome have tumors with moderate to severe cytologic atibia, five mitoses or more per 10 high power fields, necrosis. These are the references. Thank you.